Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer on Saturday the 16th of October. Today we remember Nicholas Ridley, the Bishop of London, he Latin, Bishop of Worcester, who were martyred, burnt to death uh, in the reign of Queen Mary uh, during the Catholic reaction against the Protestants in England. A dark time indeed and uh, we remember those who've gone before us who have suffered uh, for things that we take for granted. The ability to worship in English, to read the Bible in our own language. Things that we can do whenever we like. And so this evening, let us remember uh, indeed words from Psalm 130 yesterday. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his place, in his house of prayer. My soul waits for the Lord more than the watchman waits for the morning, more than the watchman waits for the morning. I will wait for the Lord my soul waits, and in his word do I hope. We're going to read part of Psalm 118. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord proclaim, his mercy endures forever. In my constraint I called to the Lord. The Lord answered and set me free. The Lord is at my side. I will not fear. What can flesh do to me? With the Lord at my side as my saviour, I shall see the downfall of my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any confidence in the flesh. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any confidence in princes. Surely I was thrust to the brink. But the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he's become my salvation. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter and give thanks to the Lord. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Come, O Lord, and save us, we pray. Come, Lord, send us now prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God. He has given us light. Link the pilgrims with cords right to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will thank you. You are my God and I will exalt you. I give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. Philippians chapter 4 beginning at verse 2. I urge Euodia and I urge Syntyche to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, and I ask you also, my loyal companion, help these women, for they have struggled beside me in the work of the gospel, together with Clemens and the rest of my co-workers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think 
about these things. Keep on doing the things that you've learned and received and heard and seen in me. And the God of peace will be with you. I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at last you have revived your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned for me, but had no opportunity to show it. Not that I am referring to being in need, for I have learned to be content with whatever I have. I know what it is to have little, and know what it is to have plenty. In any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being well fed and of going hungry, of having plenty and of being in need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. In any case, it was kind of you to share my distress. You Philippians indeed know that in the early days of the gospel, when I left Macedonia, no church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving except you alone. For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me help for my needs more than once. Not that I seek a gift, but I seek the profit that accumulates to your account. I have been paid in full and have more than enough. I am fully satisfied now that I have received from Epaphroditus the gift you sent, a fragrant offering, a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to God. And my God will fully satisfy every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory for ever and ever. Amen. I greet every saint in Christ Jesus. The friends who are with me greet you. All the saints greet you, especially those of the Emperor's household. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, of whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ my left and my right, this day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. This night be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. With all authority, gentle in intimacy, Christ our identity. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger, this night be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all-powerful. So let's just remember a few things from the Philippians passage. Lord Jesus Christ, it's not always easy to rejoice in you or to know how to rejoice in you. Grant us grace to be a people of praise and whether there's someone else there or not, to give you praise for who you are and thank you for what you've done. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you that you are near. Help us to reflect your good qualities and especially your gentleness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant us grace not to worry about everything, but with prayer uh, and supplication, it says, petition, asking for things with thanksgiving. Make our requests to God. Grant us grace to remember to thank you as well as to ask. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And grant us grace to truly leave all our worries with God so that we may receive that peace which is far deeper and fuller than anything that the world can give. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, we remember the way in which the Philippians took a lead in financial giving to support the work of the spreading of the gospel of Jesus. 
And we pray, Lord Jesus, that you'll grant us grace to be aware of that and to seek you as to how we might make sure that we do what we play our part as well. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord Jesus Christ, grant us grace to think on those things which are true, honourable, just, pure, pleasing, commendable, excellent and worthy of praise. Drive from our minds with your light and love the dark, depressing and despairing thoughts, the criticisms and the complaints. And just as we pray that you'll shine in our thoughts and shine in our hearts, so we pray that we might shine out to others, that they might know the hope to which you've called us. In the name of Jesus, our Saviour and the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Collect for today. Well, it's the end of the week, of course, as well. So often we end up with the Collect, which we'll say again tomorrow morning. God, the giver of life, whose Holy Spirit wells up within your church, by the Spirit's gifts equip us to live the life of the gospel of, G of Christ, and make us eager to do your will, that we may share with the whole creation the joys of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you from the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing to a place of holy prayer. In the name of Jesus, our Saviour, and the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.